So I have this bridge, and I wanted some traffic on it going back and forth. And I was like, Ugh, how do I do this with a bunch of different cars? You know, maybe a particle system or something. But then I figured I should just install and learn animation nodes. It seems complicated, but powerful. And you know, so far it hasn't been hardly complicated, and it's awesome. For my first ever animation node setup, I was able to have cars going between two different empties. You know, when they reach one empty, they're instantly transported to the other empty on the other side of the bridge, you know, so they'll just keep doing this all day long. And, you know, I can move the empties, you know, if I want the cars to travel further. And I can, like, duplicate cars, like, if I want, you know, like, duplicate this, and there should be a car, you know, here. Or, you know, between these two. And I'll just press play, and it'll just go. And, you know, I can even, like, let's say I'll add a monkey and you know as long as I put it in my westbound traffic collection it's now a car it's pretty awesome oh and you know since the bridge has a curve to it all the cars have uh, a shrink wrap modifier or shrink wrap constraint so they'll stick to the bridge they won't like fly off it they'll stick to the ground here's the the node setup where it, you know it'll compare the exposition of one of my empties uh, with the, the exposition of each car and if it's true that it's less than the exposition of the empty it will do this calculation but if it's false it'll do this calculation which is just the exposition of the other empty so if you've been as afraid of animation nodes as I have you know maybe give it a shot it could be worth it. I'll link to where you can download animation notes and a good tutorial below.